Penny, after a wonderful historic Olympics in Tokyo, personally, a lot of people might have forgiven you if you took a pass on these world championships in, in Budapest. Why have you elected to go? Um, I don't know. I, I think I, I just really like racing, and um, I haven't had a lot of racing opportunities in the last few years, so I really think I just need to kind of get back into it and really push myself to get into racing again and kind of find that edge that I think I used to have and now I just I really love training that's why I'm kind of like now I love training I used to hate it and now racing is like I'm kind of iffy about it sometimes but I need to just get back into like more racing all the time. You've proven yourself to be a big game racer <laughs> yeah. uh, when it counts the most at the Olympic Games at uh, two games in a row um, and you silenced some critics, uh, some people who uh, said before Tokyo, you know, she can't repeat the magic of Rio, but mm -hmm. you did. Mm -hmm. um, and yet, as you go to the World Championships, you've not won an individual medal at the World Championships or been the World Champion. Mm -hmm. Can that be a motivating factor or, or does that matter at all? Um, I mean, for me, I like to call myself an Olympic swimmer. I just feel like that for me is something so special and something so meaningful so I really like to step up and get ready for that and I think any other year I kind of use those big meets just as like a placement point to kind of see where I'm at in the world at that time and to kind of make mistakes that's what I use those races for more so where I can try new things out make a mistake and look at it and get it right for the next race or the next practice I have so I mean, I try not to just put really a lot of pressure on myself until I'm about a year, a year and a half out from the Olympics. Then I really like to like get going. Big game swimmer, the Olympic yeah. swimmer. Um, <laughs> you've, you've talked about training and how you recalibrated and looked at training in a different way over the past couple of years. And yet, as you've considered that, why is it important to keep a competitive edge, to get into a big meet? Yeah, um, I think it just really helps you because it still gives you that nervousness and there's that little bit of pressure when you're going into those meets anyways and you get to race with all of Team Canada and race with people on the world stage and I, I just think kind of like I said it, it, it allows me to take a little bit of the pressure off and just look at my races and learn from them and I'm not as disappointed if I don't do well um, but I still think they're pretty important to go to and just kind of get through them. To use a cliche, the talent pool in swimming is, is pretty deep internationally <laughs> yeah. these days when you've got people like Caleb Dressel and Katie Ledecky and Sarah Schustrom and Emma McKeon and yourself. I I'm wondering, is, is there a swimmer, past or present, that you've learned something from, have come to admire, uh, or, or is this about you, Penny? Uh, I think I honestly admire a lot of swimmers. I mean, you see Emma McKeon, who won, I think, like seven gold medals at the Olympics, which is pretty insane. And um, Sarah, you just see how she's transitioned over the years from like being a 200 freestyler, and now she's really focused a lot on sprint, and she's really capitalized on that. And um, I think there's a lot of swimmers I really look up to, and I like to watch. And Caleb, he's really insane he's the, like the fastest swimmer I think ever and um, I've trained with him and I've seen his work ethic and it's just it's cool to kind of be around those people and be able to talk to them at these big meets and Michael Phelps yeah yeah of course <laughs> what is it about Michael is it just is it the iconic nature of him or or is it something more uh, he's such an icon he kind of brought swimming to the forefront of people's minds I think like when you think of swimming you think of Michael Phelps you know <laughs> it's weird it's not so weird when he's won all those medals. yeah exactly a golden age of Canadian female swimmers um, and you're just coming into your prime as a group how much can you accomplish how much can Canadian females accomplish at these world championships uh, I don't even, I don't know what to expect, honestly. I think um, I've trained with a few of the girls and even some of the guys, and I'm really excited to go. And I've seen everyone's been so focused this year, and it's something that's really difficult to do coming off of an Olympic year, but you kind of see that fire in their eyes, and they're really excited to get going and get racing, and it's, it's going to be really cool to watch, I think.
you said it before, you're a racer. Mm -hmm. What's best case scenario for you in Budapest? Uh, I don't know. I don't really know what to expect of myself right now. Um, I think after the Olympics, like I said, it's, it's, so, it's such an odd year. And it's kind of weird to find that feel again for racing, especially since we haven't, or I personally haven't raced since the Olympics pretty much. Um, but I don't know. I'm excited to just get in and get racing and see what I could do maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> You've done a lot before. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Okay? Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Now, wait, one, one request. A photo. Yes. I, I Can I do that? Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. We always do. There you go, my friend. And we'll do it the horizontal way, landscape or whatever you call it. Can you get me a mouse there, Penny? Thanks. Yay. Awesome. Thank you. I'm out. I'm Are you out. Done?